Well, hey, tubers. I'm uh, kicking back watching all the videos tonight. I, I uh, see a lot of good vids out there tonight. And you know, I'm, I'm new to YouTube. So, uh, trying to come up with some creative videos and so forth. Tell you one guy that I see out there that uh, that I really that I really like, and he's 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 really helpful as well. Uh, is MBYR31. Now he has what he calls uh, Friday night forties, where he's drinking a a forty ounce of Old English eight hundred. Well, I ain't that big a man, I'm going to tell you right now, I just ain't, especially for a Tuesday. So, I think what I'm going to do is have a, uh, in, in cheers to MBYR31, I'm going to have a Tuesday night 12 ounce. And I tell you, I'm going to go all out because I'm a cheap old bastard. I'm going to drink me a bush light. Now, I, I don't like to drink out of cans, so I put mine in a, in a glass. Not a plastic cup, but a glass. Man, I like a little salt in mine. And, why drink if you can't smoke? <coughs> well, I sure have enjoyed getting on YouTube. I'm new to this. I just got a new uh, editing program. Um, I'm a rookie, so it's probably going to take a while. It's uh, by Roxio. So we'll see how that works out. See what kind of effects I can get in there. Still trying to figure out how to... You know, I see all these guys on YouTube that have... Uh, a custom background and um, all these different links that they can add to it. Um, so I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, now, my buddy at MBYR31 was talking about some football earlier. And uh, he said he was a college fan. Well, you've never seen a bigger college fan than me. And I, I do have to say that FSU, FSU, FSU. I was so sad to see old Bobby Bowden go first season without him I'm thinking that since old Bobby since he's not coaching anymore uh, hell I'll tell you what you know I, you see all these people on YouTube and they're talking about religion and politics I mean, everything, oh gosh, you name it, people are talking about it. So, I'll throw a little politics into the mixture. I'm thinking since Bobby ain't coaching no more, Bobby Bowden for president. Bobby Bowden for president. <laughs>
And I guess while we're on politics, what the hell's up with all this outsourcing with China? Um, I know a lot of people see my videos and they they probably think I'm a farmer, but I'm, I'm not. Uh, my family owns a farmhouse and I've got uh, lots of friends that are farmers and uh, like Farmer Dave, you see him on there. There's a few other farmers. Uh, but I, own, I actually own a dental laboratory. We make dentures and parcels and crowns and bridges and implants and you name it. If it goes in the mouth, we make it. And it's very surprising. And for anyone out there that's about to go to the dentist, <laughs> I'll check it. Um, surprisingly enough, 38% of all dental appliances are being outsourced to China. And uh, well, that puts a real dent in dental laboratory owners like myself. 38%. That's almost 40%. Chances are, your dentist that you go to, and you got a 40% chance that your shit's getting made in China by some 10 year old kid that don't know anything about making teeth. Making about $2 a day. You know, it's, uh, they don't have the same OSHA regulations or regulations of the American Dental Association like we do here in America. And the labor is cheap, so the product's cheap. So, your dentist, on average, charges about twelve hundred dollars for, say, a crown, one crown. Now, to an average lab in America, a fair price is about two hundred dollars for a crown. So, if he pays for a crown made in America from a quality lab, he's still going to have a 600% markup. That's quite a bit of markup. And the lab does most of the work. But if he sends it to China, he can get it for $30. $30. Now, you have to bear in mind, with, without the ADA regulations that we have in America, China uses a lot of poor quality metals like lead. So, if you get a crown made from your local dentist and he sends it to China, well, He's going to make some Chinese company a little richer. He's going to make some poor little kid two dollars a day that don't know what they're doing. And they're going to and ultimately, hey, you got a shot of getting lead poisoning. <laughs> uh, so, you know, what really pisses me off is there's no, like when you walk into Walmart, everything you look at has a tag on it that says, Made in America, made in Japan, made in Korea, made in China. Well, when you go to the dentist, there's no tag on that tooth that says made in China. So, I would suggest that when you go to the dentist, if you don't want your crown made in China, Tell him you don't want your crowns made in China. Plus, you want a shot at lead poisoning. <laughs>